Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Masticode Online. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the R partition string method or the right partition string method. And what the R partition string method does is it searches the string for the highest occurrence of the separator or the argument past the R partition. Once it locates that highest occurrence, it's going to go ahead and split the string into three separate strings. Those three separate strings will be contained in a tuple. On the, the first string will contain the original string prior to the separator. The second string will contain the separator itself or the argument. And the third string will contain the right portion of that string after the separator. So let's go ahead and take a look at all this so you understand what's going on. I'm going to create a string that's going to be represented by A and it's going to be M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I -S 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 for Mississippi and we're going to say A.R partition like that and we're going to say hey go find IP and separate on that. So we got on the left hand side uh, first off we got a tuple all right and then we got three strings contained in that tuple on the left hand side we got m-i-s-s-i-s-s -I -S -S, and that is the left side of our argument or our separator second string contains our separator or the argument and the right or the third string is going to contain the remaining portion of our string after the separator all right so that is the r partition string method now let's go ahead and take a look at what happens if it does not find the separator in the string so we'll create a new string b is equal to master code online like that and we'll go ahead and just say b dot r partition and we'll say hey go find ip again ip does not exist in master code dot our master code online so now we returned a tuple that contains three strings still the first two strings are empty and the third string contains our original string if you have any questions head over to mastercode.online otherwise we'll see you in the next tutorial 